My name is Army Staff Sergeant Orlando Gill. In 2004, while on patrol, I took a direct hit from an RPG. This resulted in the amputation of my right leg above the knee, hearing loss, tinnitus, and PTSD. This is my wife, Maria. We met a year after my amputation. One thing that caught my attention was her eyes and her personality. I mean, it's straightforward. I really like that. I think it was the way he carried himself. Even though he was injured, he was just an ordinary person. It didn't get to him. It was like, this is me, this is who I am. It's like, hmm, you know, he's, he's, he's awesome. As a kid, I always wanted to be a soldier. Watching the movies, you know, John Wayne, watching Clint Eastwood, you know, I wanted not so much that respect, but I wanted that responsibility. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon, almost like midway through my first six hour shift. Regular day doing patrol, uh, that funny feeling came over me that something bad was about to happen. My hairs on my back of my head, they just stood up and this insurgent just dropped to his knees. He had an RPG and he just shot it. I watched the round come towards me uh, and it hit me. It hit me in my leg. I swung forward, I fell down. I looked down and I was bleeding out. Went to Charlie Med. I talked to the surgeon. I remember telling him, save the leg if you can, but save me. And when I woke up, uh, my leg was amputated. My kid was only nine years old when I when I was injured. Uh, you know, that was the hardest part, telling my son, he had like, hey, I lost a leg. Uh, how do you tell a kid that? But he he was a trooper, he took it, he took it day by day. Learning how to rewalk, that was uh, that was interesting. My house was built in the 70s. They have those really like small door frames and the hallway is narrow. So if I'm in my wheelchair, I can't turn around. I can't enter the bathroom or the other three rooms. In the laundry room, I can't even go in my wheelchair because the door frames is very narrow. It's frustrating for me to see that he has to rely on me. It takes away his independence. I don't feel comfortable sometimes leaving the house because he's gonna want to do something. And if something happens, I feel like it's gonna be on me for not being there for him. Not that he can't do it, but he's not able to actually do it safely. I discovered Home for Truth from Juana Redondo. He actually just got his house. And he's like showing me everything, you know, like, look at this, look at that, like in awe. And I'm like, you're like, wow, this actually is like no restriction on a wheelchair. You could go through every room and there's no problems. And I was like, that was, that was an eye opening. The level of care and detail, I mean, they put thought into every little thing. We've been living like this for years and even we've never even thought of. They've thought of everything. The closets, you know, you don't have, you can reach down, you can access the closets in, in a wheelchair, the bathrooms, the laundry room. The kitchen was one of the biggest ones. His stove is just pretty much the top part and then you can actually wheel in something that I can't do because I have a regular stove in my house. The faucet for the oven so you can fill your pot over there instead of having to go from here transferred over there and I'm like, whoever thought about this, genius. Our lives are gonna change dramatically, drastically forever. Anything is possible at this yeah. point. Everything is possible. Hopefully, you know, room for Grand our grandchildren to run around. Grandchildren. Room for our dogs. Uh, we love animals, so we take in rescues. We take in more, more. Take, take in more. Home for our troops is it's a godsend, it's a blessing. It takes what uh, is given to us and makes it better. To the people that are donating, thank you. Not just for me, but for every veteran that's uh, benefit from this program. It's a life changer, complete life changer for everyone. And it's, it's amazing. <laughs>